Hi guys, Olive here, here today to do Harriet Rosie's new tag. This is the genre book tag. This is not to be confused with the book genre tag. That one is a tag that asks you to answer questions all about one specific genre of your choosing. Harriet discovered that there wasn't a tag out there that asked us to talk about a variety of different genres and our feelings toward them. So she created this tag. Harriet tagged me in this one herself, I'm assuming because it's fairly well known by this point that I read from a wide variety of genres. As such, I've been really excited to get to this tag, so let's begin. Question number one asks for your favorite genre. And for me, I mean, it's probably nonfiction, but as I've said in videos before, it feels like a cheat to use that as an answer. That would be like answering this question with fiction. That is far too broad. So within nonfiction, my favorite would either be memoir or nature and science books. And oppositely, question number two asks for your least favorite genre. And for me, that is sci-fi. And it's so weird for me to say that because that's like exclusively the world my husband lives in. He is a huge sci-fi reader. He loves space opera. He's even writing some science fiction right now. But things set in space in particular just don't do it for me. I did like The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell, but for reasons that had very little to do with the space travel elements, it's just not my thing, but that's probably a good thing for my marriage. We are two people who were raised as only children, so it's good for us to have our own things. Number three is a genre you would like to try. And as much as I've expressed a disinterest in reading Westerns in the past, I honestly wouldn't mind trying one or two of them. I will say that this change was inspired by Mary Doria Russell's historical fiction novel, Doc. If my research is correct, that one does have some Western elements and I'm interested because it's Mary Doria Russell. But also if you know of any must read Westerns that you think I specifically would enjoy, throw those recommendations my way, I will give it a whirl. Number four asks for a genre that you don't want to try. And for me, that is horror. I cannot handle it. I'm a complete scaredy cat. The closest I can get is a thriller that has some horror elements in it. And even then it's iffy. I have very vivid memories of listening to the audiobook of The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon alone in a big house where I was nannying. I was waiting to go pick up the kids from school and I was just doing things around the house while I was listening to that audiobook and it was a bad decision. I was terrified. Every single creak of the floorboards, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Number five is a genre that you're not sure about. And for me, that is a subgenre of nonfiction that I will call the sampler platter, where it's a history, but you're only getting tiny doses of this and that the whole way through. For instance, Bill Bryson does this in his new book, The Body, where the subject matter of the book is the entire human body. Obviously very complex, and there's a lot to talk about, but his book is under 500 pages long. So you're obviously only getting small pieces of information about any one topic at one time. And for me, that's just not an effective way to learn. I know a lot of people like these types of books, but I think really all they're good for is pulling out a tidbit at a dinner party. So I'm iffy on them. Number six is a genre blend you love. Given that I am a lover of memoir and a lover of natural history and science, I love when those two genres meet in books like H is for Hawk by Helen McDonald's and Lab Girl by Hope Jaren. It is really no surprise that these are two of my all time favorite books. But I also love when a nonfiction book is written by a journalist and that journalist is becoming obsessed with a group of people who are obsessed with something else. In these types of books, the journalist gets in on the obsession and then becomes a part of the story. So it starts out as a study of this thing and the people who are obsessed with it, but then it becomes a type of memoir by the end because the author has gotten involved. I am obsessed with that obsession with obsession. <laughs> and finally, number seven asks for a genre defying book. And one that always comes to mind when I think of a genre bending book is Radiance by Catherine M. Valente. This book is part historical fiction, part mystery, part Hollywood drama, and part space opera, ironically enough. It is such a strange mashup 
but the language has this musicality to it that makes this entire book extraordinarily sensory. It was confusing as all get out, but I really enjoyed the ride. So that was the genre book tag. Thank you so much to Harriet for creating this tag and for tagging me. I thought it was a ton of fun. Since this is a newer tag, I will be tagging some people down in the description box below. If you have any comments or questions about anything you've seen in this video or about anything in general, you can put that in the comment section below. But if you'd prefer to find me somewhere other than YouTube, I am on a variety of different places on social media, and the links to all of my profiles will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!